Hello everyone, you are welcome to the ninth episode of the Quick Civil Series for Beginners course. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can create a title block. You know, you can particularly create a title block to your specification. In fact, you can even attach your company logo and, you know, many more. You can just do it perfectly. Um, what I have here is, um, you know, a default one. So I can, you know, just create mine. So to do that, you can come to prepare slash print. Okay. And then you can come to um, title block drawing and then just click on yes. So here you see title block for the current drawing. If you want to click, if you want to create a title block just for the current drawing, then you have it like that. Then here you can see title block for all the detail drawing. So um, this is the one I'll be picking. And then it will start from where? You know, we have several drawings. You have your foundation like that up to the column. So let's start from the foundation layout, okay? Unless you want it otherwise. Two, then pick the last drawing, okay? So this is the last drawing. You can see this is the first drawing. So it will start from here and end here, okay? So let's assume you want to just create that block for some parts. So you, definitely you can, you know, um, select where you want it to start from and where you want it to end. Then you can pick your paper size. You have A4, you have A3, you have, yeah. So I'm picking A3. Then of course it should be landscape. If you want it to be portrait, you know what to do. So now let's edit the title block information, okay? So right now you begin with um, what you have here. So now if you want to insert your company logo, you have to insert it then. Um, before you do that, make sure this is in true, okay? So now you can insert your company logo by clicking on this. Then you can just browse some pictures. I do not have my company logo here, but let me find something that can be used as a um, company logo. You know, something that is kind of... Um, you know, just attach something. Okay, let me attach this. And then you click on open. And then that has been you know, attached. Then the consultant, you have to fill the information for the consultant. I will fill this to be 21st century. Okay. So that is the, let me see, 21st century consultant. Okay. Then the consultant address, let me just put Yaba Lagos okay and then consultant phone number that should be plus two three four eight one six five six three seven five five two that's my phone number then the dates was the drawing date i am actually creating this i don't know the dates but i think today is um 18 yeah today is 19 Sorry, today is the election day, so that's 9, 18. And we were in March 3 and then 20, 23. All right, designed by read one. Okay. You're just filling all the information that needs to be done. Then the drawing skill, um, you know, just leave that. And then drawing tie to um, leave this in force. It will automatically fix the drawing tie to itself. Then uh, drawn by, let me put Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Okay. And then job number 101. Just put the job number. Then client name. What is the client name? Let me put YouTuber. Or let me just say YouTube viewers. Okay, then project location. The project location is in Ibadan. Okay, then project title. The title of the project, let me say, um, it is a residential building. Actually, it will provide two lines. So you can see the first line and the second line. So everything I want to write can be accommodated in the first line. So I don't need to put anything in the second line. Now, sheet number, just leave that. And then all these title block geometry, just leave all that. Then the title block geometry paper size, 
um let this be in landscape and let this be um a3 okay so um title blog general so all this i think they are fine so just click on um close so if that is fine then it says edit drawing sheet look and fonts so all the fonts that i need to change okay so for the set number you know you might want to change the font of each thing so for example the company name the um the designed by name the client name the location name everything that we've you know fixed so you can change their font here yeah. i'll just leave it as default okay click on okay and then if there is any sheet that has been created i want it to get deleted okay so i'll check that box and then just click on okay so right now it will do that okay so you can see that's deleted the previous one and then you can see the name this is residential building youtube viewers ipadon you can see my company logo and then everything that needs to be here okay so you can see drawn by ibrahim designed by read one checked by sorry i forgot to insert that and then you can see the name automatically it inserted the the time okay this is 11 now it's almost 12 it's almost another name another day sorry then this is the foundation layout you can see the sheet number one and the scale so everything that needs to be here is here okay now there are some things you can do to the drawing for example the text okay so if you want to increase the text so you can just click on t plus so if you look at the dimension or just take note of everything there so t plus okay you can see it is increasing so yeah now this has been increased till it is now abnormal so i have to make it to be normal okay so all this can be done in AutoCAD, you know, you can just go to AutoCAD and, you know, adjust your line, your, what's it called, your size and everything like that, text height, but you can also adjust your text height here. So that should not be a big deal. So click on this, then it will take you to another drawing. Um, Click on this, then, you know, your raft beam details, everything will be placed in this drawing. Let me um try to zoom back so that we can see how it looks like in the drawing. In the title block sorry okay i want it to be centered now yeah okay so this is exactly how it looks like in the in the drawing all right yeah so this is how it looks like so if there's anything you want to drag you can actually drag your drawing but I'll, I'll prefer not to drag it over here okay so that you won't you know mess up so you can see it's we fix everything in the in the drawing and then it is very easy for you like this so you can check more I can see your slab see how your slab looks like so even if your slab is not placing well let's say um it is like this so you can use all these forward backward arrows something like that to fix the accurate position but as you can see it is fixed properly so if you want to take it to the right so just click on this you can see your drawing is moving to the right so all this you can use it to set your drawing properly so um you know you can use it to center your drawing so that it won't look um abnormal i think it is fine so you can increase the text so that i can look more bold so um i think this is this is perfect all right so um also you can increase the skill this s is for the skill but i will I advise you not to touch the skill let the skill be as it is so just click on this um next arrow then to take you to the next um the next detail so i think you have two type of columns you have column type one and column type two so um let me increase this so um your column so we can you now try to shift it since it's just two type let's shift it like this okay then let's bring it down okay so that it can be centered all right so i think this is fine okay so if you increase this properly you will see how it looks like so um that's a great thing then um let's see more you know just do as you like so if this is all done then you can just export to pdf directly okay so you can export to pdf and then you can export to autocad and then you have to save it you can also export your calculation sheets and everything like that so 
I think this should be all for um for episode nine. And then in episode 10, I'll just show you how you can, you know, view your your analysis results um here in quick civil series of course you can check your analysis results and your design results from the calculation sheets that you produce but what if you just want to check it here in quick civil series so i'll be showing you how you can do that in the next video